Hey folks, Dale Davidson here, Davidson Law Offices and the Dear VA Guy channel. So thank you for joining us today. I'm going to give you some good information on caregiver support programs for the VA. Uh, so stay tuned. Basically, there are two programs that the VA has for caregiver support. Okay, the program of a general, general caregiver support services. Okay, in the general caregiver support service program, they provide peer support, mentoring, uh, skills training, coaching, telephone support, online uh, programs, referrals to outside sources for the caregivers. Okay. Uh, so pretty basic, pretty basic. So then the second program is the program of comprehensive assistance for family caregivers. Okay. Now, as the title, you know, suggest the uh, this program offers an enhanced clinical support and services for caregivers uh, for eligible veterans. Okay, there's a distinguishment distinguishing feature there who have a serious injury or illness and require in-person personal care services. So, general caregiver support services. We're talking about a caregiver who provides assistance to a veteran with activities of daily living. Remember activities of daily living, uh, eating, preparing meals, attending to your personal hygiene matters, transportation, medication management, financial management, those kinds of things. Versus the comprehensive is more in depth. We're talking about somebody who is actually at least 70% rated disability from the VA. Okay, so again, general caregiver, versus a comprehensive or more robust caregiving services. So let's talk a little bit about these two programs because they really kind of, uh, down the line, they kind of uh, mirror each other as far as program services, but there's three uh, distinguishing items here that we'll discuss at the end of this video. So they have the skills training, okay? They have the VA SAVE. The VA SAVE provides information and steps to anyone regarding veteran suicide. Now, veteran suicide is it's a tragic thing. It happens uh, every, every couple of minutes here in the United States. And we, you know, so this is a really, really good program for veteran suicide. And let me give you kind of an example. Uh, I've got a veteran that came in here about three weeks ago. He was uh, over in Iraq uh, and actually came upon the, uh, remember the Highway of Death, where the Iraqi soldiers were fleeing Kuwait and the United States trapped them at the front and the back and then annihilated them on that highway. Well, he came upon that uh, several days afterwards and the, the body parts and the charred bodies and the decapitated bodies and the stench and the flies and the smoke and all of that. So it's pretty traumatic. And so he, he has nightmares of that and, and we actually had to get him some services for, for suicide. So we're praying for him. So there's the uh, Building Better Caregivers, okay, which is an online type of resource. There's the Any Caregiver Text Program. I don't know why the VA names their programs, this, but it's just just basically a texting service that the VA provides caregiver supports through. Okay, then we have the uh, one-on-one -on -one coaching, so you can call uh, 800 number and there'll be a individual there to help coach you through whatever caregiver service issues that you may be having. Then there's the group support coaching. Okay, again, it's it's. Most of all of this is online, so it's probably through a Zoom or something like that. So it's all virtual group training, uh, which is good for, for all caregivers if you need some help. The next part is Caregiver First. So that's uh, caregivers finding important resources and support. Basically, it's an evidence-based skills training program for caregivers of veterans of all 
uh, areas of diagnosis, okay? There's uh, peer support mentoring programs, there's caregiver peer support mentoring programs, all kinds of different skills, training, things of that nature. There's respite care, which is one of my favorites, okay, because everybody needs some rest every once in a while. So this is a program that pays for care for a short time when a family caregiver needs a break. You need to run errands, you need to go out of town for a few days, respite care. Did you know that 60% of all caregivers die before the person they're caring for dies? Why is that? Because of the stress. Stress is not a good thing. You can see my gray hair, stress, okay? So, respite care, great program to take advantage of. In, in this comprehensive uh, caregiver support services. So uh, I mentioned at the very beginning that there's three big differences between the comprehensive support program and the general caregiver support program. And that is in a comprehensive support program, the veteran has gotta be enrolled in CHAMP VA. That's the health insurance part, okay? You gotta be enrolled. That's for comprehensive support. For comprehensive support, the caregiver receives a stipend. Now, what is a stipend? How much do I get? Okay, so guess what? The VA tells you exactly what you can get. So for instance, if you were in Atlanta, thank God we're not in Atlanta, it's too big for me. The annual stipend is $34,000. $34,069. You do, divide that by 12, that is a monthly stipend to the caregiver of $2,839. They have, uh, again, a, a chart for this. Just the base, the base stipend, if you weren't in Atlanta, maybe you're, you're here in Thomasville, Georgia, or Moultrie, Georgia, small town, and so we're not listed. You get the base and that base will be about $2,315 a month. That goes to the caregiver for support of the disabled veteran. And remember that dis disabled veteran gotta be rated at least 70% or more. And then the third is that there's some beneficiary travel may apply. So if you have to travel with the, uh, with the veteran, then you can get some reimbursements there. So uh, again, there's the two big caregiver programs, the comprehensive services, which are more comprehensive, more robust than the general caregiver. General caregiver is basically just activities of daily living. The comprehensive is actual in-person, more intense caregiving because you've got that veteran who is uh, in need of more assistance because of the um, the rating disability. We hope that we've given you some good information today. Uh, if we have, uh, like and subscribe. As always, you can email us at dearvaguy at gmail.com, dearvaguy at gmail.com. Ask us some questions. Again, like and subscribe. Until next time, be blessed. Story, Grandpa Joe. Let's get happy before.